Oh my gosh. Oh, there's one. There we go. Oh my God, he's ripping at me. Oh gosh. Woo! There he goes. Charlie fam, welcome back to Panama, or welcome to Panama. Today is day three, episode three, and if you guys missed days one and two, I'll link them on the screen or somewhere down in the description. And it's been a phenomenal time here so far at Los Buzos Resort here in Panama. And the plan for today is we're gonna load up the kayaks and the pangas. And uh, the last two days we fished just right out front here, but I believe today we're gonna head a little bit further east and hit an entirely new area and uh, Dakota one of the main guides here at Los Buzos he was out that way yesterday just doing a panga trip with a couple other uh, customers here at the resort and he said that they ran into like two or three wahoo that they had on the jigs that unfortunately cut them off so there might be an opportunity to get a wahoo in the kayak today which would be so epic and I've only ever caught one wahoo before so it would be cool or even if i don't catch it it'd be cool just to see someone else get one and also there might be a shot for some more roosters down there uh, they also got uh, some some good rooster action and you know we'll also probably have plenty of bottom fish that we can try and uh, work through to get some nice snappers nice grouper so stay tuned the stoke is high i'm excited today just as much as i was the first couple days and i can't wait to uh, make something happen and put together a bite so let's get after it Gracias. All right, we're out here and I'm already marking a ton of bait down about 100 feet and just outside there a little bit there's some little birds working on some bait since it's early still I think we should try tossing around this big dark matter spook Now there might be also a shot for some tuna right on this spot called uh, La Boya, La Boyo. There's a ton of stuff busting on the surface by some birds over here. I'm gonna go check it out. Let's see what we got here. What could all this stuff be? I can't even buy a bite on this little jig. There's definitely some sizable stuff swimming around in this massive school of bait and fish. <laughs> I can't believe that I cannot get a bite. What is going on? Oh, look at that a snake right there. One of those poisonous uh, sea snakes. All right, I think my bait is here. Look at this service. Are you guys catching a lot of baits or no? No. Yeah, I'm sure, I, don't, I don't even think I had one bite yet today. 
What were those fish that were schooling up like that? Palmettos. What do they eat? Like a sabique? Oh, jellyfish? Oh, wow. You can or no? No, wow. Sweet. Thanks, bro. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a bite on this little blue runner. Ooh, just marked a really nice fish. Oh yeah, we got some big fish here. There's a bite. Oh, this fish is running. Lost them. Well, I lost that bait. All right, let's try dropping down a little nomad vibe now. Maybe with this, we could at least catch some snapper just to get the skunk out of the way for the day. All right, let's put some Dr. Juice on this and get it down there. There's something. Huh. Not sure what this is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's definitely something that's like foul hooked. Yep, there he is. A tail hooked trigger fish. Oh, just throw it in. Let's get the vibe back down there. I'm switching colors because the eye fell off of this one. It might not matter, but we'll see if this like black and gold flash and orange belly color works. I would imagine that a little lure like this could imitate like a small grouper or you know baby trigger fish, a baby snapper. All right, just hit bottom. 78 feet. Oh, there was a fish. Something small though. Oh, there's another fish. Uh, would you look at that? Another trigger fish. Oh my gosh, there's a good fish. That's what I'm talking about. There's no way that's a trigger fish, unless it's a world record trigger fish. Oh, stay hooked, baby, stay hooked. Oh yeah. Right on top of this high spot where it's in the low 60s. Oh, man. This fish is dogging me on this light tackle. Oh man, look at the size of that yellow snapper. Phew! That's a big girl. That's what I'm talking about. It seems like each day now, I'm getting bigger and bigger with these yellow snappers. <clears throat> look at the size of that one. Phew! That's a stud right there. Yeah. Uh, this one's been eating good. You want me to get a picture with you on this? Oh, no, I already got some pictures. Maybe I'll, hopefully I'll get a bigger one. 
that's a nice sign. Sweet. All right, see you, hopefully see you in a bit with another one. Uh -oh. All right, let's put some more Dr. Juice on this. By the way, if you want to get a free bottle of this, just click the link in the description. All you do is got to pay for like a couple dollars for the shipping. And uh, Salt Strong will send you out a free bottle. There's another fish. Oh, look at that. A little grouper. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing. I wonder if I could use this for bait. All right, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Well, that was quick. Something just nailed this little bait. Oh, look at that. A little bit bigger grouper. Dude, that bait lasted about a second. Really? Yeah. Oh, go. All right, guys, that little reef fish must have lasted only like 20 seconds down there. So I radioed the guys to ask if they had a sabiki, just like that, because I'm thinking maybe with this, we could snag a couple more of those. And, you know, if we could keep using those for bait, um, you know, there might be a chance of getting really, something really, really nice. All right, let's deploy the sabiki. I'm gonna see if we can get a reef fish in like a couple minutes. If we can't, then uh, it looks like there's some birds out there working now. And Jaden on uh, one of the pangas said that he got a tune on a popper on those birds working out there. So I, I, I'm gonna have to go try that if we can't get a reef fish quick. Oh. I got something real small. This is going to be a perfect bait. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going to get devoured real quick. Beautiful. All right, just hit bottom. Let's take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten turns up. And now I'm just gonna try and hold myself right on this spot here. Just got smoked right there. Dang, that was a hard hit, but I think he dropped it. Let me reel up and check my bait. I wonder if I got stripped off the hook. Yep, bait's gone. Ah. Let's see if I can get another bait real quick. If not, then we, we gotta go out to those birds because we're running short on time. And uh, uh, Jaden just said that he got smoked again with the popper. So there's you know, some tuna out there, which is good. I'd love to get my first ever tuna in the kayak. I've only caught uh, false albacore, like little, you know, small tuna, tuna, tunoids in the kayak. Oh man, they got a second tuna out there. I might have to scrap this and go try and get one. We're running short on time, so let's go do it. Let's try this little popper here. I'm doing the little pop and troll on our way out to the birds and fish that are feeding. Maybe we'll get something on the way there. If not, then 
I'm just gonna cast around out here all over and see what happens. They just hooked up on another tuna on the panga there. Oh, just had a bite. This looks good. All we gotta do is get a fish now. Oh, there was a fish. Oh, just had a bite. So unfortunately, that was about it for the day at this spot. But once we got back to Los Buzos, as soon as my feet touched the sand, I went out to explore the surf a little. And I caught nothing, but I had to try, because that's how you learn. Then the next day, we did another mothership trip, but went an hour east to fish off a national park with some amazing fishing opportunities. get after it all right guys good to be back out here and what's crazy is look how close we are to the shore here and it is 178 feet of water right here and we're probably only like a half a mile from the mountains there from the edge of the ocean so pretty cool how deep it gets all right i made it up here to like 75 76 feet of water and I'm marking a bunch of stuff right on the bottom. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, gosh. Something hit this and then just booked it up off the bottom. So I actually thought that I lost the fish. Oh, look at that. It was, it's a little Almaco. There he goes. That's cool. Oh, there's a fish. I moved in a little bit shallower. I dropped on this spot that was about 60 feet. Ah, a little trigger fish. It's crazy that these things try to eat this. Ah, I snagged something real small, I think. Maybe it'll be a little reef fish. Or just the smallest little trigger fish. Oh my gosh. It kind of resembles a little trigger fish, this lure. Got a very similar color pattern. There's something decent. Oh yeah, that's gotta be a snapper. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Right on that edge, going from like 70 up to about 60. Once we hit 60, that's when we got whacked hard. There we go. Oh, look at that. Whew. Got a beautiful rock snapper here. And he absolutely choked this vibe. Nice. Such a cool fish. They more closely resemble sheep's head or like a giant porgy than they do snappers. Last 
last closer look before we dispatch this guy. So I'm gonna bleed him and just throw him behind me and one of the guys in the pangos come on over and pick him up. Such an awesome fish. Look at that red belly, that's so cool. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. First fish in the box. Nice, I'll take it. Gracias, muchos gracias. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Oh, there's another good fish. Another grouper. I feel like we've kind of started to figure out these groupers, the rock snapper, the yellow snapper. Oh, look at that, he's got a little minnow right down his gullet there, you see that? So that's kind of a good look at the size of bait that they're eating down there. Vibe down. Jaden here in the panga is gonna drop off a bait for me. It's a good one, though. Yeah, it is a good one. Are you getting him in deep water or are you getting him close? To, yeah. I might try to see if I can get some big eyes after this one. Uh, you know, close to shore. You can throw him. Gracias. All right, let's drop this perfect size blue runner back there and see what we can get to eat it. All right, this bait didn't last long before getting hit by something, but I think it was just a big needlefish. You can kind of see the teeth, like teeth marks and like a long slender snout of something grabbing them. So being that he's barely kicking now, he's not really a great trolling bait so i'm gonna put this bigger hook in them and send them down on some structure and see if maybe we can get a kubera to eat them all right let's send them down i was out there in like 70 80 feet but there's a ledge that i'm coming up on now where it should go up to like 50 60 40 feet of water and right on that ledge, I bet you there'll be a nice Kubera. Oh, I just got ate by something big here. Man, mark that spot. Do you have another bait? Fish on. I got something pretty good here. Oh no, I think he just shook off. Blake, you don't have any dead bait, dude. All right, got another bait here. And unfortunately, it's starting to rain now. Oh, just got hit. Got him. Oh, lost him. <laughs> Similar damage to the last bait. Whoa, fish just blew up right behind me.
Let's throw the popper. Oh, there was a fish. That almost looked like a tuna. There we go. Fish on. Got him to eat the popper. Oh, he came off. Dang. Oh, there's one. There we go. Fish on. Hopefully, that's a little tuna. Phew. Oh, he's going down now. <sighs> Kinda heavy setup for a little school tuna. But I'm glad I'm at least hooked up on something and fighting them longer than just 10, 15 seconds. Looks like a nice little yellowfin tuna. Woo! He's going crazy. Got him. There we go. Phew. There we go. He's in. All right. I'm super stoked about getting my first yellowfin tuna in the kayak there. And after such a grind of a day, I really needed that. And now we're kind of getting down to the wire. We only got like 30 minutes left to fish out here before loading the kayaks back up in the pangas and heading back. So let's keep popping away, see if we can get one more. Oh, a marking right below the surface. They're here, they're here. We just gotta get them to rise to hit this again. Oh, there he is. Oh, got another one. Oh my God, he's ripping at me. Oh, gosh. Woo! There he goes. Oh man, how did I not lose this fish? That fish just raced at me at like 30 miles an hour. Woo! That was so cool. This one might be a little bit bigger. This is what I'm talking about. Post storm, top water tuna bite, baby! Whew. Oh, I just lost them right there. There's another one. 
Jeez, they're fired up right now. There we go. Oh. You know, this one's really tiny. So, let's see if we can get the hook out. And then send them back. Whoa! <laughs> ah, you know what? This guy got it in the gills underneath there. So. I think I'm just gonna keep them. All right, we'll let that guy bleed out. Let's get the popper back out there. They are chewing right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, this tune is going crazy. Oh. 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 Whew. Another little schoolie. This cute little schoolie isn't hooked too bad. Maybe I can get the hook out of this one and throw him back. There he is. See you later. Oh my gosh, I am marking so many fish right here right now. All right, right here. We're gonna get one. Oh, there he is. Oh, we had a bite at least. I missed them though, or he missed the plug. Oh no, they're coming to pick me up. I probably got like one or two more casts in before we're out of here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, well that's it guys, we gotta pack it up. All right, we're back here on the beach at Los Buzos and we got caught in a couple more rainstorms on the ride back in. And unfortunately, that did not help wash off all the tuna blood on my legs. So <laughs> I really need a shower, but I'm super stoked that I got my first ever yellowfin tuna that I've ever caught in the kayak because where I'm from, you don't really get a whole lot of opportunities to get out in a kayak to catch tuna. You have to you typically head really far offshore, like 25, 30, 40, 50 plus miles to even be in a zone where you can get like some bluefin, yellowfin tuna. So there's not a whole lot of opportunities when you can just be out a mile, a mile and a half from the beach and be in the real deep blue offshore water with tunoids just swarming around you. And I wish we could have stayed like an hour longer uh, when those tuna were biting because I feel like I could have had an opportunity to catch a bigger one or just catch a few more. But it is what it is. I'm, I got to be happy with what we caught and then we got on that hot little bite before we left. 
and if we just got one Cubera, I would have been over the moon right now. But I'm thinking maybe in the kayak, I wasn't getting enough uh, pulling force and power and leverage to penetrate that hook because it's a real big hook. So it got real frustrating, you know, and it is what it is, that's fishing. And tomorrow I might just fish out in the Panga and uh, Dakota, one of the main guides here, was saying that in the Panga we'll be able to hit a lot more spots, cover a lot more water because we've got the engine on the back. And possibly if I get a Kubera bite tomorrow, maybe I'll really be able to set into them uh, standing up on the boat and I'll be able to penetrate that hook and get my first ever Kubera. So we shall see, but I'm super happy still because we got our first other rocks, ever rock snapper on this trip, yellow snapper, and my first ever rooster fish. So you really can't beat that. And uh, before signing off here, I just want to give a huge shout out to Los Buzos and everyone working behind the scenes, Morris, the owner, AJ, his son, and all the chefs and guides and captains. Uh, you, you guys are amazing and you're always working overtime to make a trip like this possible uh, day in and day out. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vid and are looking forward to episode four, the final episode. And if you are, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for when I upload it and smash that like button if you enjoyed. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.